Breaking news. Buhari's home state, Castina, pay repentant bandits. 100,000 naira monthly, all exposed. My people, you'll be shocked to know things that are going on in this country. Very shocked. Truly, sincerely shocked. You see, they go to the southeast and they kill people's children and they tell you that they are this, they are that. In fact, the IGP of police just issued a statement recently telling them that um, they should tighten the fist on IPOB. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, these people are not killing men and women on the streets or causing any form of atrocities. All they are saying is, leave our land. We want to protect it from invading killer Fulani X-Men. Nigerian government says no. And that's why even the U.S. has raised an alarm that the Tunicum jets they are sent to Nigeria, are they not sure they will use it for IPOB instead of fighting against terrorism that they, you know they, they of which when they apply for the for the for the for the sales for the uh, buying of those things that was what they told the u.s the u.s now is now very worried because nigerian government sounds very unstable and really truly speaking causing a lot of attention with all that is currently going on castina government paying 100 so even those that are working in the bank how much are they receiving uh, how much are teachers receiving then people who are killing people, call, making life unbearable, are receiving this amount. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Buhari's sins are all before us. Let's get all the details. The Castina state government had in 2016, 2017 and 2019 entered a peace agreement with gunmen. Some repented bandits in Castina are paid at least, that's not the least person that they pay, 100,000 naira monthly by the Aminu Bello Masa, Masari led government, Sa reporters has gathered. Which graduates in this country, how many graduates are receiving 100,000 naira? Let's be very honest with ourselves. Oh. They are working hard, they are teaching in school, doing extra lesson. How many are receiving 100,000 naira? Think about it seriously. Oh. Let's continue. The Castina state government had in 2016, 2017, and 2018 entered a peace agreement with gunmen. President Muhammad Buhari with Castina state governor, governor, but despite the accord committee in Castina, despite being the home state of President Muhammad Buhari, despite paying bandits, they are still being attacked and residents being kidnapped and killed and huge ransoms still be demanded. A source in the state government told Sahar reporters that some of the repentant bandits who dropped their arms and ammunitions were employed by the government through the office of the special advisor to the governor on security and paid at least 100,000 naira monthly. They were employed as casual staff. Casual staff receiving 100k in Nigeria. Where you day? Better go apply for this job. After they, are repent, after they repented and being paid 100,000 naira as monthly allowance. But unfortunately for them, most of them that we arrested recently are collaborating with the other people to commit more crimes, those still in the forest. Castina State Police Command has recently arrested three repentants of the same bandit that have been paid 100,000 naira for robbery and rooting cows in in Ginwe local government area of the state. The, co the command spokesman, Guba, said the trio allegedly attacked a headsman, Halaji Salumi, on August 11, 2021, in Denmark Forest in Ginwe. He said the men rooted 20 cows valued at 7.5 million naira from him. The suspects were also alleged to have stolen 40,000 naira and four mobile phones from their victim when they came attacking. According to him, the suspects were among the repentant bandits now working with the state government, still carrying out this nemesis and causing more atrocities on the individuals. They wanted, they wanted to root another set of cows from him when the police arrested them. He said the cows that they rooted recently was about 444,000 naira. And this were all revealed and exposed to Sahara reporters. You see all these governors of the North, eh? if you hear, well, as soon as something happened, they know how to cover their track. Oh my, 
Oh my, my, my. They know how to cover their track like no other. Can you remember in Niger State when the commissioner for information was kidnapped? And he came back, he was so angry, he began to expose, he began to spill the beans. He began to tell everybody, say, well, the governor of the state was the one paying bandits. He was arranged, his kidnapping was arranged by the governor of the state. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know that that, that matter died a natural death? Oh, you're not aware. Did you hear anything about it again? No, he died a natural death now. They don't want you to hear about it. That's why at times, eh, this thing is going on in the north. I always ask myself, you know, there, if, if there is nobody who is aiding, supporting this thing that is going on, trust me, it will not, it will not fly as much as it's doing. But there are people who have stake and interest in what is happening, who will not let the truth to be told. Oh, you don't understand it. These people are particularly happy with the statoscope, the way things are, and would not want anything to change because maybe they are benefiting from it or it is their covenant for them to be leaders. Who knows? Any of those people, if you know of the secret things that they do, fear of God will catch you in Nigeria. If you know of some things that they do, the fear of the Almighty God will catch you. So this is what people do. This is what those that call themselves leadership. Because if a government truly wants to end, you know, unforeseen circumstances and things going on, I don't believe it's too much of a, of a hassle for them to put and put the military in place. And don't forget that the U.S. have offered them now, not twice, up to three times that they are ready to help, but they just want the Nigerian government to ask which is called derision because they would not just come into your, your space and just, you know, because there's what we call human rights and uh, there are jurisdiction that bounds countries. Nigeria is a sovereign state, whether you like it or not. Things might not be working, they might be failing, but there are ways to approach a matter and how to go about things. So these are some of the things ongoing now, Nigerians. These are some of the things happening. People you do not expect, you do not believe will do some things are the ones now doing some of those things and it's very disheartening because you expect more from them. You really expect more from them. You see, you really expect more from them. These are some of the things going on and God will help us because the things going on is a clear indication that if God does not help us, we don't know where we are going anytime soon. If God himself does not help us, you see, it's sad, but these things are all happening. Governments, pain, bandits, so what do you expect? What do you expect? Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.